In episode 4 of Unnecessary Shit for my Sports to 72, I'm going to be employing the help of my wife and my father-in-law to make some resin timing covers for the bike. So let's get to it. Because I have an inkjet printer, what I have to do is cover these images in a quick setting UV resin. Now the reason why I'm using a UV resin is because if I set my images straight into the resin, which is a slow curing resin, takes approximately 24 hours to harden, then the ink's going to run into the resin. So with the UV resin, it's fast curing and the ink's not going to run. So the resin that I'll be using is from Stone Coat and it's an Art Coat resin and the temperature rating for this is 245 degrees Celsius so hopefully when it cures it's not going to melt off the side of my bike. Whilst that resin's sitting there and getting all the bubbles out of it I'm going to peel the backing off these stickers and remove the adhesive with this spray on desolve it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want the adhesive to have a reaction with the resin when it's setting. Now I just need to pour the clear resin into my silicon moulds. Now I'm going to let this resin sit for 20 minutes so all the bubbles rise to the top. Then I'm going to insert my images. I don't want to insert my images straight away because those bubbles won't release and they'll get trapped underneath those plastic images. So after the resin's been sitting for 5 hours, it's nice and tacky. So now I can apply my second coating of resin and I'm going to be putting some white ink into this just because I want a real retro look with these cartoon images. I'm just going to put some dye in the resin and stir it up. Don't really know how much to use so I'm just going to whack a shitload in there. Now the white ink is thoroughly mixed in with the resin, I'm going to apply the second layer into the silicon moulds. So it's been three days and as you can see I've taken the resin timing covers out of the moulds. Now they're nice and hard. What I'm going to do is put them on a wood lathe and then polish up the faces. As you can see the faces are really dull. Don't worry they're going to be polished up and they'll be looking like glass in no time. With the resin timing covers that don't have holes in them I'm just going to line up the stock timing cover, place it on the back, get it nice and centered and then just transfer the holes. So we've just drilled through with a wood drill and it's got a fine point on the end. So to get it nice and centered for when we pre-drill with the spade bit, we just have it so that pin comes through. Then we apply the spade bit so it countersinks those holes. And as you can see, those holes are now countersunk. Got to have the token cigarette. <laughs> Light the oath, mate. And the safety boots on. Huh? Yep, always got the safety boots on. <laughs> the reason why this one come up so nice and shiny is because the silicon mould I used has a real glossy face. So I don't really need to do much polishing on this. But with that mould that I did use, it has a couple of little imperfections. And I do want to whack this on the lathe and just smooth them out. With that rough blemish just here, I'm going to use that 240 grit sandpaper. Alrighty, I'm actually really happy with that now. It's got most of the rough areas out. Now I'm just going to use some 1200 grit wet and dry. Now some 1500 grit. Now I'm just going to use some car polish and this stuff is really good for fine scratches. Oh. So now what we have to do is just cut a groove out of the rear of the timing cover because the way that the sportsters make their cam covers they have a little bit protruding and this is going to sit out and not inside that uh, timing cover slot so just need to cut a small groove out of here and 
I'll get the father-in-law to do that because he's very good with the lathe. Now for the moment of truth, and that is to fit the new timing cover with the Gingy Beard Man logo. So now I have literally put my own stamp on my bike. I really love the way the timing covers have turned out, and as you can see, I've made a few more. My personal favorite is the Pickle Rick. I'm Pickle Rick! But what I have to do is just wait 30 days for these resin timing covers to cure before applying any extreme heat and hopefully that heat rating of 245 degrees Celsius holds up on the side of my engine and doesn't melt off the bike. If that resin that I've bought does fail, I'll obviously have to try and source some other stuff. But that's going to do it for this video guys. Thanks very much for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!